It doesn't take a pandemic to understand that resilience is a key factor for successful real estate investing. But what is resilience? So let's just take a look at the definition. Resilience is the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties, in other words, your toughness. And to understand resilience, I'm really wanting to share and subdivide this into four different categories, and that is vision, problem solving, collaboration, and proactivity. And those combined are going to really ensure that you have a pathway in front of you that can open up as opposed to close down. My name is Robin Booth, and I was the 2018 South African Real Estate Investor of the Year Award winner, as well as the 2017 Mega Entrepreneur South African winner in Los Angeles, along with some crazy celebrities and global business people and international real estate investors. I invest here in South Africa, both in Airbnb units, student housing, communal living, multi-lets, traditional buy-to-lets, as well as commercial and other forms of investing. The concept of resilience is absolutely important to all of my investing because I want to make sure that I am mitigating all the risk that I have, therefore everything else is on the upside and the bonus. And I'm going to share with you some of my understandings of resilience and how that can help you become the successful investor that you feel and know that you deserve to be. So let's take a look at vision. It was Nelson Mandela who said, do not judge me by my success, judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. I had the great opportunity of interviewing Madiba's grandson, Ndaba Madela, about the success of his grandfather. And for me, this is the fundamentals of really successful business and, of course, real estate investing. You need to be so clear on why you're wanting to put time, energy and effort into real estate. These next few months and years are going to be trying times. We are going to have to do things that before we were not wanting to do or had not planned to do. In other words, the more we understand what motivates us and what pulls us into the future, pulls us into the possibility of creating something that is inspiring for us in our lives, the more we will do whatever it takes. That lovely distinction between your best is no longer enough. You need to do whatever it takes. And the clearer you are in the vision, the clearer you will be on having the drive, the motivation, and the effort to actually do what needs to be done. Whether that is tightening your belt and bringing down your expenses, whether it is picking up that phone and speaking to your tenants, whether it is finding new joint venture partners or new funders, and you don't feel like doing it, that's no longer going to be an option. You're going to do whatever it takes. And the clearer you are on the vision of where you want to go and what you want real estate to give you, the more secure you will be in actually achieving that goal. The next category we look at is problem solving. And happiness and success in your life, your business, and your real estate investing is not going to be the absence of problems, but in your ability to work with and through them. We want to make sure that we're thinking about the current problems. And within that, there's an underlying foundation which is built on a firm belief that there is a solution. So take, for example, a person who believes there is no solution is just going to complain and is not going to do anything about it. A person who believes that there is a solution even though they may not have found it, will believe that there is a solution and put time and effort into finding or creating that solution. And the moment you have that belief that there is a solution to your current problem or to the current challenges that we are finding, the more you're going to put your effort into creating, finding and unlocking that. And let's just take the classic example of, I believe that we're going to really struggle with rental deposits over the next few months. So I'm saying, well, what is the solution? How can I pivot and adjust to that? And that's what I've been um, doing and spending. And of course, I'm seeing a rollout with my properties that I'm starting to find those solutions that can actually meet the challenges of the current market in such a way that I still can... Um, I get my tenants and my units all filled and of course it's a win-win for both solutions so again your ability to problem solve is going to be pinned and founded on your belief that there is a solution as opposed to not the next category is collaboration and there's a lovely phrase which is it doesn't get any easier it's just that you get better and that really is a great understanding and a lot of the challenges that we've experienced come from uh, the circumstances and from us not yet knowing how to overcome those challenges so first and foremost is we really want to surround ourselves with the right people and of course the right team and the right team are sometimes just the people that you can connect with so that really means finding out who are those people that you want to nurture those relationships 
groups who can give you solutions to some of the challenges that you're finding or of course can bring opportunities to you we are going to see some amazing things come down the line and we want to know that we've got the right deals that if there's a problem that we're finding for example with our um, collecting of rents how do we solve that we want to know that we're getting the insight and the experience and the wisdom from the people around us and that collaboration is really important and what's really fundamental to collaboration is understanding that these are relationships that are built they do not just happen haphazardly and the final category is proactivity resilience is knowing that you're the only one that has the power and the responsibility to pick yourself up that is that lovely quote that says if not you then who and of course in real estate investing we want to make sure that we understand that that we are the ones that are responsible for creating the life that we want to that we want to live that we are responsible for creating the success that we aspire to and that we feel that this is what we deserve and your proactivity is whether you can actually reach out to create what's happening in spite of all the chaos around you because the majority of other people out there are going to be freezing they're in the fight or fright and they haven't yet decided what they want and you're the one that is actually going to be seeing the data the information coming down the line and being able to respond as opposed to react we're always wanting to respond to the situation as opposed to react to it often unconsciously on a more practical level how do i foresee the next few months and years coming out of the COVID process well, for me, the resilience is there regardless of the pandemic or not. This is all going to be around managing the cash flow, ensuring that I understand what's going on, keeping a level head, and of course, responding as opposed to reacting. One of the challenges that I've already seen inside myself is that I'm seeing these deals come down the line and I'm starting to get edgy and excited. And of course, I'm starting to feel that oh, we might miss this opportunity. So for me, it's really going to be around being level-headed in making sure that my calculations and that the numbers work. I'm not trying to play a game here of timing the market. I am just wanting to make sure that whatever I'm doing, that I have measured three times and cut once. In other words, the famous saying from the carpentry and building scenario, I want to know that I've done my calculations diligently, not through emotion. And of course, on that, I'm going to base my decisions. The second one is ensuring that all those reserves that I've built up and all all the cash that I've got to uh that I've planned always to take me through any unforeseen circumstance that I now don't go and say, well, now is the time to buy. I'm going to put all my money in and then I become at risk later on because I have wanted to take advantage of the situation without mitigating the risks. So for many of us, there is going to be that concern of, well, there's such great deals in the market. I'm wanting to take whatever cash that I've got, whatever finance I can get and put it into something else because these kinds of opportunities do not come again. Well, that is going to be the risk is because we are then putting ourselves in a position of risk where we could become the motivated sellers in the future and of course that's what we want to avoid so we need to keep that level headedness and not get excited by all the possibilities that come down the line and risk our whole portfolio because we just got too excited and didn't have that self-control